I know. All right, so let's just jump in. Let's just jump in because they, listen, we back. We ain't got to be announced that we back. Bitch, we back. Welcome to the Ice Cream Combos podcast where we serve delicious scoops of entertainment and celebrity news. I am your host, Xaviera. And I'm your co-host, Carla. And we thank you so much for tuning into today's episode, Carla. We have so much ground to cover. I got the bubble guts. I see. Look, you see me? I'm looking down. I'm like, wait a minute. Well, I know. There's a whole lot to talk about. It is. And I know lot. when you saw those talking points, you probably was like, oh, she trying it. But <laughs> nah, so I love it. Much. And, I you know, it. I wouldn't even be surprised if news start breaking in the middle of us recording, because, of course, we record on Monday. For those of you who don't know, we record on Monday and we release new episodes of the Ice Cream Convos podcast on every Tuesday on your favorite DSP. So I want to start this show off by um, just paying our condolences as well as paying tribute to Melvin Van Peebles. Um, First of all, the Van Peebles family, they are iconic in themselves. You know, you have Melvin, you have his son, Mario. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Mario got a son that's acting, too. Oh, for real? Oh, listen, it's legacy. Wow. It is legacy. Generational. Wow. I didn't know that, though. Yeah, so how about this? Mm -hmm. I believe Mario's son actually has a role on um, Wu-Tang and American Saga. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, but it's not a big role. He's like, you know, he he a little bit atmosphere. You know, Mm -hmm. he's like thug number four, but he's still on the show. You know (laughs) what I mean? I like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, Mr. Melvin Van Peebles, who Mm -hmm. is known as the godfather of black cinema, passed away on September 21st at Mm -hmm. 89. But um, Mario took the social media. Mm -hmm. Now, this this surprised me because I know you and I both know dealing with the the public, Mm -hmm. people got audacity. Like one of our ICC friends said, y'all, they selling audacity half off at Costco. (laughs) Audacity. Oh, yes, girl. Audacity is at an all time high. So apparently someone reached out to Mario or in the comments or something and asked him, how did his dad die? And I'm like, wow, they actually in the comments. I that's what I'm thinking, because Mario released this video. Yes, Mario released this video on his Instagram page and I and I shared it on icecreamcombos.com if you would like to see it for yourself. But basically, um Mario said, you know, you guys have been asking me how did he die and he mm. was like, so I just want to share this with you. So Mario goes on to share how um they knew their dad was getting older. They knew he what you know, his health was starting to fail. Mm-hmm. So he and all his siblings made their way to New York. They dropped everything, hopped on planes, went to New York. Okay. So Mario said that he knew that his dad didn't want to pass in a hospital. So he right. did everything possible to get Mr. Van Peebles um released from the hospital. And he said when he brought him home, his dad had this look of joy on his face. Mm-hmm. And um he said he slept in his dad's room. And he said Um, something woke him up about two or three o'clock in the morning. mm -hmm. He said he didn't turn on the lights. He just went over to his dad and he told his dad he loved him. And then he said he felt him stop breathing. um, So I was like, wow. Yeah. And that's so, you know, it's of course it's sad. And they're going to go through a really like long grieving process. But Mm -hmm. like the blessing of that, when I hear stories like that, is like, 
they were surrounded with the people that they love the most. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And so it's absolutely. So, you know, I mean, a lot of times we lose people in our families and we don't have anything but memories. That's right. You know, when you yeah. have someone like a Melvin Van Peebles, you can go back and look at a million interviews, his True. movies he's made, you know, True. all these different and wonderful, amazing things that he's done. So you can still see him. Absolutely. You know, so um, just keep that family uplifted in prayer. Um, yeah. You know, just the world has suffered another great loss. I know. It's like. I don't know. You almost sometimes wake up and you're like, you don't want to prepare for it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But it's mm -hmm. almost like, oh my gosh, who is it? You know, going to be, gonna be it's today? Because, because we got to remember it's such a big world too. But it's it so is. small. But it's so small at the same time. Does Absolutely. that make sense? Yep. So it's just like, you know, it is. It's sad. But like you said, another, another, another. great, another mm -hmm. legend. Yeah, because Earth is ghetto, Rest friend. Earth is so ghetto. What Earth is ghetto. Go ahead. Earth is ghetto. I wanna <laughs> leave. Get it. Hey, <laughs> you know it was coming. For, oh yeah. I was <laughs> Earth is ghetto. Yeah, you, you, I want to leave. <laughs> Girl, Earth is so ghetto. Yeah. Listen, when I was going through the stories today, mm. I literally, I think maybe about mm, three or four o'clock, I was like, mm, I'm just throwing away my 2021 bingo card. That's it. I'm done. Nothing left. I just have nothing left. I have no more squares left, anything. So let's get All right. started. All right. So the first thing I want to jump into is mm -hmm. Jennifer. I think it's Jennifer Huff or Jennifer mm -hmm. Hugh. Um, I'm not yeah. even sure if I'm pronouncing her name correctly because I was just so I lost. I was saying Huff. I don't okay, know Huff. I said, okay. I was, I'm not saying that's just what, what you're okay. I thought you pronounce it. But, you know. Well, for those of you who don't know, Jennifer Huff is the woman who was 16 years old when she was um, sexually assaulted by Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is so funny because I've heard rumblings of this. And I'm just going to tell you, even as an entertainment writer, even as an owner of a media outlet, there are certain stories that I will turn a blind eye and deaf ear to just because I don't know how true it is or it's just mm -hmm. so convoluted or so messy and so many layers to it. And some yeah. days I have the mental capacity to dig and other days I'm just like, you know what? This ain't even nah, my ministry. Yeah. <laughs> right. This ain't even I my ministry. It. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, people were, I remember when Nikki first got with Kenny and mm -hmm. the whole narrative was Nikki reunites with her childhood love. Yeah. 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 Da, yeah. Da, 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 da. Right. And then people were like, yeah, but they, um, he raped some girl. And I was like, well, if he raped a girl, he probably would be in jail. So right. then he was like, yeah, because he just got out of jail. And I was like, oh, okay, shit. He just got out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then. As the information pours in, more and more. Oh, and as more, more right. information pours in, it'll be like, up to the minute. What is the, how do they say, up to the latest minute updates or something? <laughs> and so I'm like, oh, okay. Well, then he was in jail. Okay. Right. right. And um, I'm like, okay. So I'm like, ah, oh, okay, okay. And then they were saying like um, that it happened when he was 16. He was mm. accused of raping her, but he really didn't rape her. And he got railroaded by the police department. So he just, um, he just, what, pled guilty to attempted rape. And, okay. and so I'm like, okay. So like the lesser charge, so he wouldn't have to, yeah. Right, gotcha. right. Now, I think the reason why I just was like, you know what? Number one, I'm not even interested in this is because with all due respect, Nikki be doing her thing. And, but if she ain't rapping, I'm not really interested. Uh, that's exactly. And Period. secondly, mm -hmm. I thought to myself, Nikki Minaj would not purposefully knowing like in full conscious marry someone who's accused of rape. That oh, oh, okay, sorry. I'm down. No, okay, I'm sorry. Just, that was the only my bad. I'm saying that, and I'm not judging. Like I don't know Nikki personally, but right. just because, like, so I'm anymore. I'm like, you'd be surprised. Yeah, you know, we, you know, I don't. We don't really know her. I'm constantly learning and being reminded every day that no matter how much you love someone in the industry, or you love their talent, or you love their craft, or you love how they share their talents with us. Yeah. We don't know them at the end of the day. We yeah. don't know nothing more than, than what they're willing to share with us or right. or tea somebody else going to spill on them. That's right. That's true. That that's it. Other than that, we don't know these people. Yeah. And we I can remind don't. myself, too, because it's like we do. We get especially our favorites. 
Yeah. Yeah. We don't know. And we're yeah. a little more biased when it comes to our favorites. Yep. And you know what I'm saying? If we're going to yep. keep it 100, exactly. we are a little more biased. So with that being said, fast forward. Mm -hmm. um, so I really didn't know the particulars of the case, but I do remember on one particular day, Nicki Minaj, I think she was on Queen Radio or something. And she insinuated. And this is where I really turned my mind like, oh, OK, I'm cashing out. She insinuated that his accuser was a white girl. And how okay. many times have we I seen a young that. black man go down with that, right? Yep. So I was like, oh, okay, you know what? That's just going to be something that's just going to follow him all his days, just like they going, those charges or whatever, going to follow Charlemagne all yep. of his days, no matter yep. what he do. You and know, the just rest of them. I, it's and so the many. rest of yeah, them. Yeah, that's true. But then the real said, we got an exclusive coming up with Jennifer <laughs> Huff, Huff you, whatever her name is. Um, the woman who is suing Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty for harassment and witness intimidation. I said, oh, hold up now. Yeah. Now oh, hold up. It gets a little deeper. It gets a little. Y'all got my full attention now. Yeah. What is happening here? <laughs> so it turns out there was a lawsuit. And if you even if you go to icecreamcombos.com, you will see I didn't even write about the lawsuit because mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I turned a deaf ear and a blind eye to Nikki Kenny and all this mess. But when yeah. this woman, Carla, when this woman popped up on the reel and I looked at that woman mm -hmm. and I looked at her body language, mm -hmm. I listened to her words. I saw this. This was a woman who has been traumatized to the highest level of traumativity. <laughs> this woman, because of well, course I'm you know. I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing at. Yeah, that's because you, you, you know, you know, I can like, make up a word. But yeah, so her body legs, so you could see. You could see you it. Believe her. I believe. I believe her one thousand percent. Okay. I believe her okay. one thousand percent because let me tell you what happened. Initially, when the interview went down, she mm -hmm. detailed the sexual assault. Okay. She went into detail, which was very shocking and surprising to me, considering. Um, I, I just thought it was shocking and surprising that she mm -hmm. literally went into detail all the way up to feeling like it was um, something in her back. She, she thought it was a gun, but it was a knife. How wow. he smoked a cigarette afterwards. He pounded on his chest after after he sexually oh assaulted her. What kind of? Yeah. And how she ran to the school. And when she okay. got to school, like when, it, I guess, a resource officer at school saw something was wrong, she told them. And then they ultimately called the police. Mm -hmm. She detailed how... Her family, like she basically spoke out to the police mm -hmm. and told the police what happened before speaking with her family. Her family was like, listen, okay. we in the hood. We don't want this kind of drama. We don't need these problems. Oh, wow. You know, this, that, and the yeah. third. Yeah. And then they basically tried to pressure her into recanting. So then she tried to recant. And it, it was just a whole lot to That's it. Nuts. And now she's suing Nikki and Kenny because she says that Nikki and Kenny, she said she actually spoke to Nikki on the phone. And Nikki was like, yeah, I heard that you want to help us. Nuts. Nikki offered I would, the... I thought she was smarter than that. Like, when just kind of listening, reading it and looking at, like, I thought, see, once again, we don't know mm -hmm. them. We don't know them. what I always say, I'm like, Nikki, isn't it? That's an intelligent, you know. Yeah. I felt like she's intelligent. But after, like, seeing this, I don't know. But... A lot of women case. are intelligent until it come to their man. True that. True that. It's like that shit just go out the way. <laughs> just right does. out the window. <laughs> just right out the window. And don't let the yeah. pen be good, girl. It's oh, yeah, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. So apparently they started reaching out to her after Kenneth got arrested in L.A., and Callie for failing to register as a sex offender. Uh, yeah. So then I guess the plan for the petties um, shifted to... We need to just get these charges out of here. Mm -hmm. And then she became the focus again. Yes, let's shut her up. <laughs> yes, let's shut her up Get her or get her to publicly recant or get her yeah, to yeah, yeah. go right, back right. and maybe we can get his record expunged or I don't even know how all of that will work after you could yeah. plead guilty and serve jail yeah, time. I'm exactly. not sure. No. You and know. he's not, you can't expunge anything. I don't, is he a first, is that his first felony? That's only for like first time felons. Yeah, that I don't know. Because I know I got my record exposed. Yeah, <laughs> Shout, yeah, <laughs> Shout out to me. Shout out to me. Because that's first offenses. I don't think you can. I mean, it might be different. I don't think you can get anything sponge if you're already a felon. I don't yeah. know his record, but I'm just saying. Um, yeah, I but... Don't know. I think they just made it worse for themselves. They did by reaching out to her. And I don't yeah. know what... I don't know how they thought that was going to end. I'm not sure. But anyway, long story short, she has filed a lawsuit against them. 
Um, Mm -hmm. She said she received cash bribes. They actually reached out to her. She had people actually threatening her. And now Mm -hmm. she's receiving death threats from the barbs. And the reason why... But the reason why I'm bringing it up is because I know she's not lying because I received all kind of wild ass threats on the mm-hmm. internet for just posting the story for posting mm-hmm. her interview. Yeah. But let me go back to the point where I mentioned where she detailed the sexual assault. Mm-hmm. I was like, wow, this is a, I wasn't expecting this because you know, when there's open litigation, you, I don't know how much you're able to say how much you can't right. say. Right. But then I said, well, since this is all, this part of the case is already closed. Maybe that's why she's detailing. Let me tell yeah. you how to real snatch down all them interviews and scrubbed her speaking on the sexual assault wow. out. She wasn't, she wasn't supposed to speak on it. They scrubbed all of it out because wow. I go back to my site and I'm like, why is the video empty? <laughs> they snatched it down, they got scrubbed it, it out. Mm. And when they put it back up, I was like, oh, well, maybe something went weird. And when I put the video back up, all of that was out. It was wow. chopped. It was cut. Heavily uh, edited. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. heavily edited. Yeah, so, yeah, she, at, with you saying that and giving details, you can't, when you know, with litigation and things going on, you can't just openly mm-hmm. get details. Yeah. I don't think it's good. I mean, I don't think our attorneys would think it's a good thing either. Listen, I am praying for that woman because you can literally see the trauma all over her. Wow. And people are calling her a clout chaser. People are calling her like of course, chasing fame, money, all of the above. But I'm saying they offered her a lot of money that she did not take. So apparently she's not after money. Right. Right. Who wants to be famous for being sexually assaulted? That's what I don't understand that. That's the part I wanted you to like explain to me if you could. Okay. I don't understand that. Who wants to who clout chases like that? Okay. Not I. Not anyone in their right mind. Okay. It's, it's nuts. And so yeah, so if you haven't seen that interview, you can watch the heavily redacted version of it on icecreamcombos.com. But I just wanted to touch base with you on that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. To see what your thoughts were on that, or if you heard any buzz in the streets regarding that interview, because it was very, very shocking. But mm. I will say the industry that we are in, a mm. couple days later, Nikki and K- and Kenny right back to posting pictures on the gram, of hitting course. the stage, doing shows. Like goldfish. Yep. Like that. You know how it goes. It's, it's that like here today going tomorrow. It's, somebody, mm-hmm. it's about somebody else the next day. So, yeah, that's really a shame, is. though. But I mean, I didn't see the interview, but just from reading and just everything mm-hmm. that you told me, I'm just I just pray that, you know, she gets if it happened that she does get some type of justice for it. Cause at the end of the day, like we see so many of these stories. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You know? And and like the fact that they get brave enough to speak out, like, you know, mm-hmm. I commend them for that. I do. Cause it's a lot of pressure. You said our own family didn't even want her to say anything. No. And then you think about it. I mean, think about how many people don't speak out for this very reason. Yeah. Backlash, being called a liar, being verbally attacked online yeah. or in the streets if someone runs into them. So, you know, my prayers to her. My prayers to her. And my prayer is that the truth, whether we like it or not, justice is handled, whether it is for whomever it's for or against. Right. Right. True justice. But yeah, yeah, that's a mess right there. That is a whole Mm -hmm. mess. All right. So speaking of a mess now, this is a touchy (laughs) subject, but I just want to I I just got to. Uh -uh. So, you know, comedian A.J. Johnson passed away. Oh, yeah. Um, AJ Johnson, best known to many of us as Ezel from the Friday movie. He was also in House Party. <laughs> Listen, I ain't even don't even start with me. Did you watch it? Did you watch House Party? I forgot. See, all right, you know what? It wasn't for the fact that we was recording. <laughs> I logged out. I just I just shut the I'm telling you I just okay. shut the laptop. Yeah, okay. Oh no, no, let me make it. Let me make it. <laughs> Let me make it. All it. right. So AJ Johnson, um, best known as Ezel from Friday, and he was in some other movies. <laughs> he recently passed away. He passed away earlier this month. And his wife, I think her name is Lexis Mason Jones. I think her name is Lexis, Lexis Mason Jones or either is Lex, Lexis Jones Mason. One of them, but I'm going to say Mason Jones. But his wife... She was on TMZ, posted a video. She was crying tears. There was a GoFundMe that was launched shortly after he passed away. Mm -hmm. And remember, I spoke to you about that GoFundMe. And I Mm -hmm. said, you know, I don't know what to do because I don't know if I should push the GoFundMe because it could be Fugazi or if I shouldn't push it. But 
lo and behold, she launched a GoFundMe, but it mm. threw me off because her name is not Johnson. It's uh, Alexis yeah. Mason Jones. Right, so right. I was like, I don't she know who this you is. Put your name, yeah. <laughs> you know. Now, if it said Alexis Johnson, then right, my it context more, clues. Right, right, right. Exactly. So I'm like, okay. So lo and behold, come to find out, the wife launched the GoFundMe. The GoFundMe mm -hmm. had a goal of twenty thousand dollars, and at the time that I wrote the post, I'm gonna say it had maybe about. <clears throat> Two hundred fifty dollars. No, I think, you know it had like, I think it had like seven hundred dollars or something. Okay. It was a, okay. it was a minuscule amount, okay. like very, very small amount. Okay. So she ends up on TMZ. She's crying. She's frustrated. She's upset. She's talking about how all these people have fake love for AJ, and how you know they want to give him a proper send off, and they have this GoFundMe, um, you know, for twenty thousand dollars because she basically wants to give him a beautiful home going service, and then mm -hmm. I guess divvy up the rest of the money amongst his kids mm -hmm. because you and I both know it don't cost twenty thousand dollars to bury a regular person. No. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um you know I wrote the story, blew the site out the water. Nice. Like the site was on fire. Okay. And I was like wow because everybody was like dang like I think most what I was most happy about was it sparked a conversation about life insurance. Black okay. folks go get life insurance. Yes. Stop having people having to beg to, to bury you, sell yes. fish plates to bury you, T-shirts, GoFundMe's, FunGoMe's, and all kind of other mess Fun just, to, just, <laughs> <laughs> just to bury Burn, you. Like, we, I, nobody likes to think about their mortality, but right. we have to start being more responsible. And I know some of us feel like financially we can't afford life insurance yes you can mm -hmm. i think you got some life insurance Street. where you could put 10 to 15 dollars yeah. a month now yeah. they might bury you in a cardboard casket but that is okay nobody will have a fun go throw your ass in potter's <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I know. Nah, I feel you though. No, on a serious note. No, because you're talking about you talking about something serious. Oh my like, goodness, has somebody out there like <laughs> it's like even like renter's insurance, right? It's one of those things where like people used to be like, oh, I don't need it. It's no, it's like cheap. It's something that you don't you spend more yep. on a meal. You spend more on a meal at a restaurant. Yep. So yeah. <laughs> I'm just picturing this funeral that somebody said standing out there like this song is dedicated <laughs> to my <laughs> homie. <laughs> In that gangsta lean. <laughs> Why'd you have to go? <laughs> y'all, just please get your life insurance. Please. Yeah. If if y'all need me to, I will have a life insurance person come on and talk to us about the different yes. benefits of life insurance. that's a good idea. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll make a note of it. I'll find someone who does life insurance. If you do life insurance, reach out to me. Um... So anyway, so she goes on, she cries and, you know, now there's an outpouring of support. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got the ends today. So now there's an outpouring of support. Um, shout out to comedian Laurel Howery. He donated yes. 4,000. Michael Blackson raised 10,000. That's so awesome. I'm um, so happy to hear that. Yes. I think Offset threw a couple thousand yeah. in the pot. Shut Yo, so it was like, so people start stepping up. Yeah. So the last time I looked... To go fund me. like she had raised about seventy thousand wow. dollars. Wow, that's Absolutely. awesome. Yeah, it is awesome, but guess what? What? <clears throat> Excuse me. Sis announced she is holding a comedy show fundraiser to raise more money. Oh snap! She's trying to. Well, I... <laughs> you know what? I'm saying I, maybe. How many go kids he got? Hmm. How many children does he have? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I'm saying. So, so you're saying that? It's, all right, she got. I get you. She or you got seventy thousand. Mm. It probably it costs you about what ten, twelve. We gonna give him fifteen because he was a celebrity. Because they're gonna put him in a gold casket. Yeah, they might. I'm, <clears> just, I'm saying I don't know. But so that leave you with like six, like a, like a smooth sixty, fifty five thousand. Mm hmm. That, so she yeah, says she yeah. wants to start a, a comedy school for kids. That's what I thought that she said that. I mean, <laughs> what? It just, what? Go ahead, I tell me, tell me, because I'm just. Because I don't, don't want to be judgy, man. I don't want to be judgy, even though I'm being what judgy. She's trying to hustle. What you? It just, it just really feel like 
Hopefully. Sis, like, listen, yeah, while this well is open, I'm going to get as much water out of it as I possibly can. Because, and here's, and here's yeah, the reason I why I feel that way. Here's okay. the reason why I feel that way. Your initial GoFundMe was $20,000. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Your initial it. GoFundMe like, oh, yeah. it's was 20000 So if initially all you wanted was 20000 and the Lord blessed you in the high 70000 yeah. and yeah. now you're going to have another fundraiser. Don't say, don't say, yeah, I got you. I understand. Come on. I, I, nah, that's true. That's true. And I, even <laughs> if that is something that you want to do, it's a different way to go at it. It like, is. Don't I connect it to his funeral yeah, expense. Yeah, that's and I feel you on that. That's what you. That's what you're saying. Absolutely, I agree. I agree. Because I'm like, where are y'all trying to bury him in the Beverly Hills of Heaven? <laughs> Seventy thousand dollars. I mean, y'all could put me Very in a section. Community. Listen, y'all could put me in the section eight of Heaven. Long as I get in there, I don't care. Word. <laughs> I will gladly. Girl, you could put me in a room. Okay, I will gladly be in section eight of heaven. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma as long as I'm in there, but yes, sis is yes. trying to put him in the Beverly Hills or the Baldwin Hills of heaven. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Now that you broke everything down, like, yeah, all right. Shit, you, I mean, you start well out asking open. for 20. She saw that well, was she seen it. That water was Shoot. flowing. Sis was like. Before it run dry. She like, you know, I mean, but yeah, don't attach it to his death. Like, yeah, I don't have any problem with you trying to um, start an organization or charity. Absolutely. Uh, in the name of him or whatever. Yeah, we right? all about or giving why. back. We all right. about giving back. There's so many different ways to go. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. She wild. <laughs> Sis wild. I'm judging, but I'm saying. <laughs> he in heaven like my neck, my back, my neck, and my back. <laughs> like, what the? What you down there doing, Lexus? Somebody said, I'm going to need Lexus to sit the hell down. I said, well, damn. <laughs> you know, our ICC friends do not care. They're going to yes, tell it like yes, it is. Man, All right. So, um, Carla, ready yeah. or not, here I come. Oh, stop. I got you chill can't bones. I got hide. chill bones. Y'all can't see it. I'm showing. I'm going to find you. Girl, and I was so, slow, so hyped. What you, you hype know, about, silly. Carla? You know what you hype about? You know, I felt your... Girl, that Fuji's reunion is what I Yes, ma'am. Listen, I felt your spirit there with me mm. when I watched it. The, I guess I watched it the next day. Mm-hmm. I caught it on YouTube. So, so here's the thing. <laughs> What? Wait, 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 go on. Come on. Wait, so, come on. So here's the ting. Here's the ting about the Fuji's reunion. Now, I am absolutely excited. If you have not heard, Prize, Wyclef Jean, and the one and only Miss Lauren Hill have Best reunited. Best this is ever. That's just absolutely. my thing. I, that's how I feel. In absolutely. Her, in her day. Say, your, say what your chest is. Yeah, all of them. That's just how I feel. You put anybody up at El Boogie, like in her... I'ma even say now she get in her bag. Mm hmm She got Literally. in her bag on she got on her bag in her bag on King's Disease yeah. too with Nas. Ah, uh, true that. So yeah. um so the Fujis have announced this 25 year anniversary of this score. It was their I believe it was their second studio album and the last one. Cause you know the Fujis. <laughs> Man, listen. You, you, you oh, know. <laughs> disappointment. It still hurt my heart. <sighs> we was waiting after you put out a project like that. Mm. And then mm. that's it. Well, that's what happened when y'all start co-mingling on that tour bus. <laughs> um, so anyway, they announced this uh, 25 um, year anniversary of the score, mm -hmm. which had all the hottest Fuji joints you can think of imaginable yeah. to man. Yeah. And their first performance was at this undisclosed location in New York City. Mm -hmm. Y'all, they came out on stage three hours late. Want to guess why? <laughs> We ain't gonna do that to my. I'm just saying. Everybody should be used to it by now. You oh, really? What I mean? That's what we do. When the chicken say four, you come at seven. I'm just saying. That's what we. Carlos, said, ain't no excuse. Y'all should know by now what to do. A, a real Fuji's fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. A real Fuji's fan know what time to come. Yes. Yes. They know what time to go down to the thing. If Lauren say the thing start at five, you can show up quarter to eight. Word. And you literally just begin. You won't miss a thing. I no, promise. the band's still warming up. <laughs> <laughs> DJ scratching. 
one of the worst parts if you're actually on time for a show. You are so mm. tired of that DJ or tired of whoever by the time, like, mm. Yeah. Do you, and see, that's what I don't like. Have you ever been to a concert that started mm-hmm. late? Now, I've been to, mm-hmm. I think the latest concert I have ever been to was maybe Watch the Throne. I think it started oh, two hours late, maybe. Okay. Okay. And okay. you go through a range of emotions. First, the DJ jamming, right? Because you hype, you about to see yeah. a concert. So you'd be like, yeah. oh, you jamming. <laughs> the DJ jamming. Ow, ow. Okay. Yes. So about 30 the 45 minutes in, after a while, you like, go, DJ. Oh, that's my DJ. Yeah. By the hour, you be like, no, nah, go, go, DJ. <laughs> just go. Go. Well, you, if I hear that one more time, you just be mad. Mad. You be angry. You be so angry. Now, an hour, 15 minutes, you cussing at the DJ. Oh, yeah. Y'all, won't you just shut the fuck up? I can't remember how long I waited. Two hours is long. I don't know if I wait. I, I feel like I did. Girl, mine go all the way back to like New Edition Child when mm. I was sure I got booked. I <laughs> say I'm sure that got charged for rape. <laughs> Remember that? Remember them allegations? <laughs> do you want to any heartbreak do you tour? Rescue <laughs> me. <laughs> Listen, I'll be sure it was like, there's a girl standing there waiting just for no. me. <laughs> I said a ledge, but I just know it held the show up. And he did it before. <laughs> he said it held the yeah, show he did it before. It was Bobby Brown and in the audition. That, now, see, if anything, Bobby Brown should have been one. He, he's typically the one getting arrested at the shows. But <laughs> whatever. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> So waiting on Kanye, they came out about right. two hours later. So you go through this range of emotions. First, you hype. Mm-hmm. Then you get a little bit anxious. Mm-hmm. Then you get annoyed. Then you frustrate it. And then you reach the two tears in the bucket. I should just leave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and typically, once you reach the two tears in the bucket, I should just leave. That's when the lights go down. And you, oh, everybody like, ah! oh, hi, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and now you got to try to shake off being mad because it takes me a minute to get unmad. Oh, yeah. So now yeah, I got yeah. to try to shake off the mad. I'm waving one hand in the air like I just don't care with an attitude. And then probably at the second song in, I'm like, oh, okay, now I'm jamming a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, so shout out to the Fugees. Um, any concert yeah. that you go to, just... um. Maybe give yourself a grace period. Yeah, I'm telling you. And bring a neck pillow. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> and bring a neck pillow. Yeah. And- <laughs> we can't guarantee if it's going to be two hours or three. <laughs> See, that's the thing. If they were like consistent with the, you know, the t- hours that they're late. No, you could probably and, no, <laughs> no. And then to- talk about my food. And like then that. the standing room only joints. Oh, yeah. And then you have people yeah. standing out there for three yeah. hours in the COVIDs. I want my money back. <laughs> in the COVIDs. Yeah, I want my bread back after that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Girl, please. But you more. A- see, you just love the Fuji's. You're going to be a little them. more patient Girl, than me. I'm going to be the one saying, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm just be in the car. <laughs> yeah, that's how you be, right? You be just like, I'll wait for you, child. No, you be as soon as the lights go up. Yeah, you be running right back. Uh, all right, so on that note, let's go ahead and take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to talk some baby news. We are going to talk right. about um, some more s- sexual assault and harassment yeah, charges. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about some reality TV exits. We're going to talk about some false positive COVID tests. And we're going to mm-hmm. tell you who just got found guilty on all charges. Oh, yeah. All of uh, them. Not a heartbreak. All of them. Not all right, so we'll be right back. Break up to make up. Uh-uh. That's what hey. we do. I get if my you snap. love me, then you hate hey. me. It's a it is game back, for fools. Uh-uh. Well, bestie, we hey, have reached the breakup it. segment of the. I- you like that, bestie? You want me to do it again? Break up. No. <laughs> I was channeling my inner Smokey Robinson. Um. And they ain't even his song, but you know, I, I try to, to I try, no, 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 I try to channel, I try to channel my tears of a clown voice, you know Oh, I got, oh, I feel you, I feel you, mm-hmm. I heard Yeah, I heard. yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have reached the break up to make up segment of the ICC podcast, girl, mm-hmm. girl, why Jason Derulo and Jenna or Gina Frumes, Frumes, mm-hmm. or whatever her last name is, you know, I don't yeah, know. start me to lie. I don't really pay attention to people. Butcher. Enough to really pay, you know, really pay attention enough to know their last names. And I, 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 it's probably slightly disrespectful, damn, but I'm sorry. Man. Yeah, just a, um, I, I, it's a little bit, but God, damn. <laughs> just, just a little bit. Just a, try, how they go, 
They done hey. broke up four mm-hmm. months after welcoming their baby boy. Yeah, that's crazy. When I saw that, I'm like, ooh. And they really so seem like, 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 you like what? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell okay. you a theory. I'm gonna tell you a theory. Okay, I don't know these got? people personally, but here's the theory. If I had mm-hmm. to guess on the outside looking in, Jason and Jenna, mm-hmm. like they were a fun loving making TikToks and all these special effects right, and all right, that kind of stuff right. type of couple, right? right? Everything is just play play. It's fun. We the out the here baby. looking good. Mm-hmm. That baby mm-hmm. made it real. It Did got it's... real. Yeah. Yeah. And now you got time. Now you got to get up, make b- bottles. Oh, you got to make got bottles. To... Yeah. That's true. That you got to go so through true. that postpartum body, postpartum yeah. depression. Yeah. And he in here yeah. trying to make TikToks, making all this damn noise and the baby trying to sleep. Yes. You need to take that mess outside type yeah. stuff. So, I mean, it could be a number of things or, you know, maybe he just wanted a baby. Ain't no telling. Yeah, that's true. You listen, you never, never, you know, you never, ever know. But mm-hmm. it's sad to hear that anybody splits like right after a child is born. That's just that's what yeah. I'm saying. Y'all this ain't, is abusive. Y'all ain't hanging like situation. hanging there until the baby first birthday party. Right? Y'all could be <laughs> <laughs> shit. She ain't even hanging there until he got teeth. She got teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't get it. The little baby get a two first. <laughs> like, oh, you, ain't, hang- you ain't you ain't stick around through the teething period. <laughs> Yo, you so stupid. You ain't even let little Junior uh, break his gums. <laughs> it's Good sad grief. though. You know it is. It's no, sad. not break his gums. Cut his gums. That's it. You oh, ain't yeah. even let little Junior cut, cut his gums. gums. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, Sarinara to Jason Derulo and Gina. But let me tell you what I don't like. Mm-hmm. And we've talked about this before. Why as soon as y'all break up, the first thing y'all do is right. run the social media to yeah, tell everybody y'all done broke crazy. up. That drives me crazy. Like it's almost you have like to announce it. You who? literally be on the phone like, F you, F you too, F you too. Hashtag <laughs> single. <laughs> like, yep. what? Yes. And then when y'all Jesus. get back together two days later, y'all look stupid. Yep. I don't understand why people do that. And it's worse on social because we know some people that do that in real life. I had a personal Girl. experience, like literally like a month ago. And it's so funny. Like first it made a PSA announcement and they're back. I ain't judging, but you might not want to make that. That's what I'm saying. Time. Like, keep, Can you keep it in the house? Your word. What? Please. I, I'm about to get a t-shirt that says that. Seriously, y'all. When did we get away from keeping it in the house? I don't know. Social media. Just us how we was right. Re- yeah. Over sharing. Yeah. Because I was raised by my great grandma. Nobody yeah, was supposed man. to know what was going on behind okay, the doors. Okay, you better tell it. That's how I still live by the code. Okay. It's a code. It's a code. Listen. So, I mean, and what's wild with this one is this let me know Jason is the bitch because he hopped on Twitter. He the one who said it first. Mm-hmm. Well, does that surprise you? But how I'm about this? Tithing, you know. But two days before, Jenna was calling him the love of her life and wishing him a happy birthday. <sighs> And how it oh, go? Okay. okay. But you okay. know what? That's real life. Because how many times do you know? Listen, we got husbands. <laughs> many a times where, like, you loving his dirty draws one day, and then the next minute you be like, yo, I can't stand it. I can't stand so, it. Yeah. Can't but that's why you're not on social it. with it. You understand what I'm saying? It makes mm-hmm. it look foolishly. Like, if we did that, like, imagine yep. if you everything that went on in the house, we actually, mm-hmm. you know, put on. We would read that shit and be like... Embarrassed. Yeah. Embarrassed. Yeah. Yeah. Embarrassed. Gotta you know who's a prime example? You huh. know who's a prime, prime, prime... The perfect e- example of that is Brandy Maxiel. Ah. Uh, she was one of them basketball wives. Girl, remember, her husband be cheating remember, on her, everything. Yeah. She get on social media and blast him for cheating on her. She's so tired of this. She, oh, it's over, blah, blah, that. blah. And then two weeks later, happy anniversary to the love <laughs> of my life. Girl, I'm tired. I am so tired. You do. It's, it's, I don't understand it, but you know, hmm. shout out to y'all that, you know, keep that roller coaster going. Okay. Shout out to y'all because I am not interested. But let me tell you what wasn't on my bingo card. This is the moment where I threw my bingo card away today. Miguel mm-hmm. and Naza- Nazanin Mandy or whatever okay. his woman's name is. You, okay. You know, Miguel's little yeah. woman that kind of okay. looked like him a little bit. Yeah. She just yeah, yeah, yeah. I just thought I didn't remember her name. They done broke up after being together for 17 years. Wow. What happened? Okay. Okay. Oh, I, wow. Child. 17. Listen. I always say that when you get past the like 10 mark. 
But peep this. Hear, but hear me out. Mm -hmm. Both of them are 35. They've okay. been together for 17 years. Oh, They've that's basically that's... been together half that's of their the life. Years. Yeah. Yeah. Since they were kids. They grew up together. Yeah. Yeah. So that so, makes sense. Okay. Y'all was together I'm for 10 years. Too, it... And then married for three. They first. No, they, no, wait, wait. They were together 10 years. Okay. And they got engaged for... Uh, four oh, years and then they got married two years or something like that but anyway it's 17 oh, right. years okay and married three years time. but i got a when i posted this story i got a lot of intel on miguel today and For baby real? Uh -oh. after the intel i received today on miguel mm -hmm. i am no longer surprised Really? That they didn't last. I'm surprised they lasted this long. Wow, for real? Oh, yeah. Like I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you in the dark. Share that with me. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you in the dark. Turn off all the lights before I tell you this. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, so. I guess the easiest way to say it is that um, there, there appeared to be an open marriage. Okay. But I don't know if everybody knew the door was open. Oh, come I'm gonna leave right. the door open. I'm gonna oh, leave all right. The open. Yeah, you definitely gotta. You gotta tell me. I'm gonna, mm -hmm. yeah, so just don't be surprised people. if you hear somebody popping out with a belly or some crazy mess like that. Don't be surprised. Wow. That's all I'm gonna say about that. But Damn, that's a shame. That's a shame. Yeah, I mean, gosh, you've been together all that time. Good lord. Right. That's what. But you know. Mm. Shit, if it don't work, it don't work. It don't I ain't here for no unhealthy work. relationships either. No, I'm not either. Um, R uh, ooh, child, R. Kelly. <laughs> Everybody be That's a mess. Yeah, <sighs> like hey, I don't know. I I kinda expected it though. I, I did too. I did too. For those of you who have not heard, breaking news. R. Kelly has been found guilty on all charges of sex trafficking and racketeering in his Manhattan trial. 23 days of testimony, 50 witnesses. That's nuts. Guilty on all counts. If he is sentenced to the fullest extent of the law, mm -hmm. your mans and them could be looking at decades in jail. Nuts. The rest of his life. And the, th and the thing is, isn't that, that's just federally. He's still facing other. Yeah. Doesn't he have to that that's was just New York. York. He still got Chicago. Right, that was state. That's right. Okay. Yeah, he still got Chicago. Okay. okay. Was he charged in any other city? I definitely know it was New York and Chicago. But is there any other cities that we may I, have forgotten? I don't know. I just know that this isn't it. I know there's other. He has other. Uh, I thought this was this was a federal. Yeah, I think this was federal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you feel okay, sorry so for Kelly? Still state chart. Um. Not if, if 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 they had the evidence, and obviously he did what he did. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, absolutely. I don't not. feel sorry for um, him either. And and I you tell had you, the life in the palm. You like you had mm -hmm. go ahead everything in the palm of your hand. Mm -hmm. You could have chose. You could do anything you want. You could have any woman in the world that you wanted. If mm -hmm. you had a problem, you could have got help. Uh, I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't feel. I know. I don't feel sorry for him. Well, ahead, for for me, it was the fact that. You got away with it long enough to chill. Yeah, exactly. You got away with it long enough to chill, but then arrogance came into play mm -hmm. and you kept on keeping on Yeah, and then started growing and expanding your empire of foolishness and tomfoolery. Yeah. And, and, you know, I, I just, the time that he is in jail now, like he's been sitting in jail now for a couple of years, even waiting for trial, feel yeah. like, yeah. right? I feel like the time that he is sitting in jail now and everything that he's getting now is just basically reparations for all the years he yeah. ran footloose yeah. and fancy free I and all so the too. other previous court trials that he beat. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. It all comes back to you at the end of the day. Um, it does. You can't out been out on these streets, you know, doing mm -hmm. this for a long time. And the thing is, just like you said it so perfectly, like. You're gonna chill after the first because it's obvious you know that you were in trouble for it. Mm -hmm. Let's let's go with okay, let's say that he actually has a problem because we know that he himself was sexually abused, right? Right, right. But once you saw that, like, this is wrong, I got away with it this time. I could have really went to jail, like it was really could have went down. That's when you had you had no you didn't care. So you didn't care. Yeah. So no, so. I don't feel sorry. Anyone who does feel sorry. I feel sorry for you just because like, like mm -hmm. what else do you need? 
Mm -hmm. else do you need to believe? I mean, even if let's take away, let's say some of his accusers aren't. We know he did it. To yeah. Some. I mean, to some extent, to some extent, we know because I didn't right. seen the damn tape. Absolutely. That's where I was ready to go. You know, so, so ain't but so much you can tell me about yeah. R. Kelly. Yeah. Ain't but so much. Yeah. I mean, the tunes are slapping, but yeah. I mean, it's a bigger it's a bigger play at hand here. And now yeah. that I am an adult and I have daughters and granddaughters of my own. Yeah. Nah, son. Yeah. Nah. Question. I, do you feel like he should be um his 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 music? should be pulled uh the tunes the tunes uh um who the they, they pulled the, the reason the reason why i am more leaning towards pulling his tunes is because mm -hmm. a lot of his tunes are based in the crimes he committed. that's what i that's how i feel that's mm -hmm. how i feel i mm -hmm. believe Age that ain't but a number yep yep as my argument was when they pulled the cosby show it was like well that had absolutely like they're not even it's TV had to show as a right with his charges, but like you said, age ain't nothing but a number. I mean, you could if the list goes on and on. Who's saying seems like you ready? That's R. Kelly, ain't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's let's be honest too, y'all. Let's listen to the song "Ain't Nothing Wrong with a Little Bump and Grind." What grown ass people you know say the word grind? <laughs> Oops. Well. We were singing it, but think about it. What grown yeah. people when you say grinding? Last time I said grinding, I was in middle school. <laughs> They like, stop crying, stop hunching. And that's I'm just saying. I'm like, I'm surprised really he makes listen, songs with Maybe I'm it. overthinking, but if you really listen no. to his music, sometimes I'm weird. Mm -hmm. When you go back and listen with yeah. knowledgeable ears, like yeah. knowing what you know now, yeah. like that 2020 hindsight, yeah. mm, them, them, them songs be hitting a whole lot different. They do. They really do. So 12 play. Who plays? Kids. Yeah. yeah. One look at my room. I was done when he was calling himself the Pie Piper. Like that was such mm. a that was such mm. like a. I always felt like that was like a like a yeah. Mm -hmm. In I your said, face, y'all know who I yeah. Mm -hmm. In your face, wow. Well, <laughs> speaking of uh, <laughs> people who got some troubles catching up to her. <laughs> oh man, who who got the friend got Chris Kumo? Oh yeah. What the hell with the Kumos? That's what you like. Does it run in the family? No. no okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Seriously. Let's oh, seriously. Let's unpack this. Let's unpack this. Okay. Is there an agenda? Do you feel like there is an agenda to take down the Kumos, the Kumo D's, all the Kumos? Um, I don't know. Is it a possibility? Yeah, but I'm not sure. I'm sold on like hmm. the, the agenda. To, yeah. So you think they just a bunch of uh just a gr <laughs> some greasy ass I mean, brothers from a greasy to, ass like, family? <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying he admitted to grabbing the girl. Yeah. First ass. of all, first of all, first of all, and what fair. kind of what kind of G you got to be to grab somebody's behind in front of their husband. husband? That's my whole point. And then say. <laughs> This is the part that got me. <laughs> but it wasn't sexual in nature. Yeah, bro. What what was it? A pat? What did she just what did she just hit a jumper? Like <laughs> what other situations? Good shot. Good yeah, shot. Exactly. Like what did she just, just like I don't that was so funny to me when he said it wasn't sexual in nature. But he okay, so listen, let's let's dig a little deeper because I want to okay. unpack this. All right, go ahead. Who saves an email for 16 years? <laughs> I, but you know what? I might have a John back from at least. You don't have emails from like, come straight up. I don't even know how to access like, an email from 16 years ago because, well, maybe my Gmail. That's what I'm talking about, your Gmail. Do you feel like. I don't okay, know about 16, but I know I can go back a few years. Oh, yeah, we all can go well, back a, couple, a few like, years. I know that I could. But, friend, 16. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay, it's like so that's to me for Shelly, I think her name is Shelly. Mm -hmm. For Shelly to hang on to this apology, I mean, it makes sense that she would hang on to an, an apology. Email, absolutely. Of, an of email from someone position. notable. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, okay. But no, no, hit that star. <laughs> 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 Try whatever, yo. Be like Listen. screen cap. Yes, I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah. But why wait 16 years to blow his spot up? That's a good question. That's the first thing I thought about. Like, but I'm always thinking that. Like, I'm always. My question always is, why so long? 
And like, at why least, not year five? Right. Why not year 10? Yeah. But then I thought she had receipts, so. I mean, she got receipts. And he then. admitted I mean, it. He did admit it. He, he was like, hey, now on second thought, I'm ashamed. Yeah. <laughs> And it's not sexual in nature, so it's, it's not, not sexual in nature. I just thing. grabbed her, her right cheek in front of her husband. Okay. I'm still wondering, yo, shout out to him. And I know this is so wrong. <laughs> but that's you talk about a bowl, like you talk Listen, about bra- that brazen. Brazen. Yeah, brazen. Yes. Brazen. I don't know. So okay, so let me ask you this. You think CNN CNN gonna tap Chris Kumo on his shoulder and say, Hey, I'm gonna need you to clock out? No. Unless somebody else comes out and says it. Only because I, I think I read where she specifically said she doesn't want him to lose his job, but she wants him to use his platform for women that have been <laughs> sexually abused. So, um, yeah. so that, hear me out. That. Hear me out. Hear mm-hmm. me out. Okay. So she blew his spot up after he stood by his brother who was accused of doing basically the same, same thing. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. she like, no, you supposed to be out here advocating with yeah. your little nasty yeah, there ass. It is. <laughs> with your little nasty ass. But you want to stick by your bro. So let's so let's let everybody yeah. know you doing the same and god darn thing. Think of it like that. And that is, you're, you're, listen, there it is. Mm-hmm. There it is right there. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, she said she does not want him. She, I literally, I've read that quote that she doesn't want him to lose his job. Hmm. But she wanted him to dedicate his, you know, platform or his show, whatever, into advocating, I guess, for women who've been sexually abused or okay. sexually uh, harassed or harassed. I gotta make sure I use the right misconduct. Yo, now I'm just misconduct, throwing, yeah. I'm just throwing misconduct on top of it and just word. Like, you don't go, even know what to say. Like, yeah. You know, like a crime scene when they put the sheet over the person. I just throw, yes. mi- I just throw misconduct over them because the sheet. <laughs> like, man, I ain't digging into everything you done did today. Misconduct, <laughs> sexual misconduct. Here go my sheet. <laughs> exactly. I ain't got time to be digging exactly. into everything y'all doing out here. Yeah. All right, so a few more things I want to run into run through before our next break. Um, congratulations to Cash Doll. She is pregnant. She's expecting yeah. her first child Aww. with rapper Trey C T. And Cash Doll is currently starring in the new BMF series, which premiered on Sunday night, and she is doing a great job. Hey, that's what you were saying. Now she I got this that. sex scene mm-hmm. that I was not expecting. Okay. And she got her titties and stangs out. <laughs> so um, <laughs> at the premiere, it was so super cute. I posted the video on ICC's um, Instagram page. Mm. She runs up to her mom and jumps in her mom's lap and covers up her mom whole head so her mom can't see her sex scene oh. at the screen. It is the <laughs> oh, cutest thing. So her mom is, is so like, cute. I want to see if you if you got moves like your mama. Oh no, my gosh, didn't. it was hilarious. <laughs> it was hilarious. But oh, I love it. even with all that, I think it said something bigger to me Um, because for everybody else, it was like just a cute, funny gesture, right? Mm -hmm. Um, A few, a cute, funny little moment. But for me, it said that despite her music, despite her being grown, despite her being pregnant, she still got a respect for her mama. I love it. That she don't want her mama seeing her tibbies out and seeing her having sex on TV. I love it. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love that because no matter how old you get, how big your celebrity gets whatever like your mom is your mom yep always have respect, respect for your mom yeah. thank you have some respect for your ball, <laughs> ball head no, <laughs> have some respect for your mama <laughs> but yeah so shout out to cash doll um yeah. she looks absolutely gorgeous she is glowing charmaine bay of um oh, black ink crew chicago main main i like she, charmaine I do too. Um, she is expecting her second child with her husband, Neek, and they are having Aww. another girl. That's too cute. They are having that another girl. Um, who else in baby news? Um, Melanie Fiona. Melanie oh, Fiona yeah. and her fine ass husband, Jerry right? Potter. Good God, that boy fine. Look, yeah, they so baby. pretty together. That's going to be a beauty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, God, for real. Dog, they so pretty together. That's it. That's, that's a pretty be couple. A beautiful baby. Yes, because their little boy Cameron is adorable. Yeah. So now they're going to have a little girl. Oh. So you know she uh, is going to be Melanie all yes, day. Yes. So that is so awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that, that is a news. beautiful, beautiful and growing family. Yeah. I'm always listen. I'm always here to tell you who pregnant if it ain't me. So <laughs> congratulations to her and yes. Jared and Cameron, who's going to be a big brother. Um. Who else? 
Snowfall star, Isaiah oh, John. That's oh, your boy Leon. Yes. <laughs> your boy Leon. The sweetest thing, man. Yes. So Leon welcomed a baby boy. Um, I believe the baby was born on Friday, if I remember correctly. Friday. I think like Friday at midnight. Right? Mm -hmm. Something like that, yeah. Yes. And that baby looked exactly like him when <laughs> yeah. he was a baby. It is absolutely adorable. He's so handsome. Ain't he? He Ain't is so he? handsome. Mm. He is so handsome. I just want to, I listen, when um, Franklin's mama was doing his hair, I was like, I want to do his hair too. Oh, I want to do his hair too. yes. Oh, his Girl, hair is he gorgeous. Hair. He does. He has beautiful hair. Mm, yeah, I was really happy hair. to hear that. And then mm -hmm. like is when I read his letter, like he wrote before it. Like, yes, yeah, the poem to his baby. So sweet. Yeah. yeah. Yes, absolutely. Um, last but certainly not least, I can't even say it. Last but certainly not least, um, Neve. Nev, Neve, Neve Shulman, Catfish. Okay. Okay. Him and his okay. wife had another baby. Oh. Yes, but based off the baby's name, I can't tell the gender, so I'm gonna leave it okay. alone. I'm gonna just let okay. y'all go see. One of those unisex names. Yeah, one of them unisex. So I, I'm not trying to mess this. with nobody's gender. <laughs> so, um, with that being said, um, congratulations to all of our ICC friends who are expecting, who just welcomed new babies, yes. and shout out to all of our ICC friends who are listening, who may be expecting. Yes. So congratulations on your bundle, Joy. Send me the registry. I'll buy a pack of Pampers. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So Carla, let's take a break, and then when we okay. come back, I want to dig into the Kelly Price saga. Man, please, because I'm confused. Girl, you who? I'm still confused. Even after everything, I'm still confused. I'm confused in Spanish. I need you to straighten I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm confused day in Espanol. <laughs> we'll be right back, y'all. <laughs> All right, ICC friends, we are back. Carla, yes. this weekend was pretty eventful. I took the yeah. Twitter and shared. It's been quite an eventful weekend. Oh, yeah. We had the season finale of Raising Canaan. Mm -hmm. We had the premiere of BMF, and then mm -hmm. we had Where's Kelly Price? Chow, 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 chow. Dang. Let me. Oof. Okay, so for those of you who have not been following this, I'm going to start from the beginning. I'm going to try to move as quickly as possible because there are so many layers of confusion, tomfoolery, nonsense, and shenanigans to this story. But we're going to keep it from pushing. Carla, <laughs> jump it. Feel free to jump in at any time. Mm -hmm. But we're going to get it cracking. All so right. on Friday night. I receive a bat signal. And for those of you who have been listening to this show, you know what a bat signal is. It's either a text, a phone call, or a DM informing <laughs> me that something is going down. Yes. Major. So I major. So I received the bat signal. And I said, hello. And the bat signal said, friend, it's going down. Kelly Price is missing. I said, yeah. missing? How, what do you mean, Kelly Price right. is missing? Like Kelly missing, Price missing? Missing, missing? So I go and I look in TMZ reports, Kelly Price is missing. Um, now, on July 29th, I did report that Kelly Price informed all of her fans that she had COVID. Mm -hmm. So um, to some, it didn't come as a surprise because Kelly was performing and doing tours and singing in people's face and they was breathing back and screaming in her face without masks. Oh, but I'm wow. going to leave that alone. <laughs> Um, I don't mean to laugh, but I didn't know. I didn't realize oh, that. But if you yeah. got to get it back. At the end of the day, you know, you got to get it back around because you can't have people out in these streets just thinking like that COVID just found her. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. No, COVID didn't just find yeah. her. She went to the club where COVID oh, was right. DJing. Okay. So she caught COVID. I know mm. you're trying not to laugh. I know you yeah, are because you're trying to be politically correct. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to try not to joke, but anyway. No, so, she caught, me. so she caught COVID. Mm hmm. And um, she took to social media, had a mask on. And I could tell at that point in time when she told everybody she had COVID that, you know, it's, it's levels to COVID. You know yes, what I'm saying? Absolutely. You you get the asymptomatic. Mm -hmm. You get the, ooh, child. Ooh, hopefully I'll be over this in a couple of days. Right. And then you get the down bad COVID. Mm -hmm. um, I was somewhere between the who cha and down bad when I had mm -hmm. it because I told you guys it affected my breathing. That is why we stopped podcasting for a very long time because mm -hmm. it affected my breathing. Um, for Kelly, who I will lovingly say is of a bigger stature and things of that nature, you know, we don't know if there's any pre existing health yeah, conditions, anything of that nature. Kelly ended up being down bad. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about down bad with COVID. Mm -hmm. Um, 
she posted that video on the 29th and literally that was the last thing she posted on social media until today. Wow. All right. So according to TMZ, Kelly um, got really down bad. She was um, admitted to the hospital. She was mm-hmm. in ICU. And then her family was notified out of no, uh, I, I say out of nowhere, that Kelly Price had been discharged. Mm-hmm. And so, but her family hadn't heard from her, seen her, or talked to her. So her mm-hmm. sister, Shan Ray, um, she reached out to the police, law enforcement. Mm-hmm. Uh, law enforcement conducted a wellness check at Kelly's practice. Kelly Price's home last Saturday, they said that her, who we thought was fiance, but lo and behold, they done got married on the low low. Her husband was at the residence. Because I'm like, why her man at the residence if she not there? Yeah. But police said that they spoke to him. Um, Mm. There were no signs of foul play, but they went ahead and added Kelly Price to the missing persons registry. Mm. Cobb County did. Right. So then my thing was mm-hmm. by Friday night, my stomach is hurting. My stomach hurting. I'm I'm darn near in tears yeah. because I'm just like, not again, not another black woman, right. especially a notable one, mm-hmm. a celebrity being missing. This man is at her house. So now mm-hmm. I'm, my mind is running with all type of narratives yeah. Yeah. because I watch too much CSI, Law and Order, you know, all snapped. I watch all of it. I D. ID channel, <laughs> right. you know, for your for for your man, for her man, <laughs> all that, right? And yeah. so I'm like, okay, so what would have happened for the police to go to her house, talk to her man, and then put her on the missing persons report? Yeah. That didn't sound right to me. Yeah, that's because, true. You know, Is that so? It went in that order. After they talked to him, they put her on the missing person. Yeah. They put her on the missing persons. Yeah, that's so odd. then they were saying that there were no signs of foul play, so on and so forth. And then I'm just like, okay, well, if she's missing, why didn't her man report her missing? So child, in the back of my head, I got him burying her in the basement and he just living off her royalties and all kind of crazy (laughs) stuff. And so now I am on social media. Me, the ICC friends on Instagram and Facebook, we trying to solve this mystery. It don't Mm -hmm. make sense. Mm -hmm. By Saturday, Kelly Price's sister starts doing media. Um, She's like, I haven't spoken to my sister. It's just me and her left and her kids. You know, we lost a lot of family members, which I am very well aware of. It's like grandparents passed, their mother passed, father Mm -hmm. passed. They lost a lot of family. Mm -hmm. Um, And I just couldn't understand why Kelly's kids haven't heard from her. Right, right. That's the thing when like the children. Why haven't her kids heard from her? That's what makes you like, wait, wait a minute. Yeah. So by Saturday, I believe um, Bossop first reported that a relative close to Kelly said that Kelly is fine. She is not missing. She is at home recovering. Well, that don't match because if she was at home recovering, then the law enforcement officers who went to conduct a wellness check would have seen Mm -hmm. her there. And then secondly, when you get released from ICU, I haven't been admitted to the hospital personally, but I, except for having a baby, mm-hmm. but I know a few people who have. And when you get released from the hospital, they put your ass in a little wheelchair. Yeah. They treat you like your legs don't work. And someone has yeah. to come pick you up, wheel your ass out and yeah. take you home. Absolutely. So who came and picked Kelly up and wheeled her ass mm-hmm. out the hospital? Mm-hmm. Let's start there. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. No information on that. Um, the sister is all upset. Uh, a radio or TV person, internet personality named Larry Reed live. He done got all up in the mix oh, and he oh. is totally invested because he is going to get to the bottom of it. So he's been talking with Shan Ray and interviewing Shan Ray and Shan Ray was like, listen, I don't care who say what until I lay eyes on my sister. I don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. I can totally agree with that. Mm-hmm. So then you had some ICC friends who was using their third eye like, Maybe Kelly don't f with her sister like that. right, right. But I'm okay. But then explain to me why she's her kids ain't heard from her. Yeah, and that's what the back back to the kids. Yup, yeah, yeah. You know, yep. why why her kids ain't heard exactly. from her? Exactly, that's the thing. So then Kelly's attorney goes to TMZ and says Kelly is fine. She st- she's still re- uh, rehabilitating from COVID. At an undisclosed location. Okay, now who lying? Because one cousin told Bossop she at the house. Mm-hmm. The police went to the house. 
-hmm. She ain't there. Mm -hmm. Now the attorney says she's at an undisclosed location. Why would the her man be at the house, but she be at an undisclosed location? So at, by the time Saturday night came around, I'm frustrated and I have decided everybody lying. <laughs> yeah, because that's why I said total confusion. Everybody lying. And now I have gone from genuine concern, mm. knots in my stomach, tears rolling down my face, hoping mm. that Kelly Price isn't hurt or, or really captured somewhere mm. or buried in the backyard. And, you know, just all these wild things that we think are unfathomable. Mm. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't think I said that word right. But you get my point. Yeah, I got that, you. <laughs> that had been happening every day, right? Right. So I'm like, come on, man. And you know, Kelly Price is a little IC. She's an ICC friend now mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah. Um. By Saturday night, I was pissed. Mm -hmm. By Sunday morning, it was F Kelly Price. By Sunday morning, <laughs> with all due respect, by Sunday morning it was F Kelly Word, Price. Because it's just too much. You it's know, too much. Say she, as in, it's too many things that just don't add up or make sense. If we're supposed to believe it, it's too much. Because here's my thing, Carla. By Saturday night, okay. By Saturday night, I was getting frustrated. By the time I went to bed, I was convinced that Kelly Price was incapacitated somewhere. Okay, you think and, so? and that's why she so. and that's why she wasn't reaching out to her children. That's why she wasn't reaching out to her sister. Mm -hmm. And her man either knew it and wasn't saying nothing. I was mm -hmm. convinced mm -hmm. that maybe she was really, really down bad, worse off than we suspected. Right, right. Yeah. Almost, and I hate to use this analogy because someone's going to take it the wrong way, but I'm going to tell you guys right now, this is not what I mean by it. I am not comparing this woman to a dog. But with all the loss in their family, there mm. was a part of me that believed, you know, when a dog get real sick and they go and hide to die. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I thought to myself, maybe Kelly is down bad and she knows it's bad and she don't want to put her family through watching her mm. go through whatever. Mm. So she's isolating herself and separating herself. Mm. I didn't think of it like that. I, girl, listen, when I tell you I was Columbo, yeah, you was really I was mad at apart, girl. You was taking that thing apart. I was, listen, and the crazy part is, people, at the end of the day, it's none of my business. Yeah, but. but. When, again, we go back to when someone is a public figure, when you right. watch their career, when That's you right. see them go through when she lost her family members. I yep. was hurting for her. I was Absolutely. praying for her. Absolutely. I have invested in her career by buying her music and, and buying little, her albums. And we got a little closer look because she spent a little time on reality TV so that, you know, for those that weren't that heavy into her mm -hmm. music through, uh, was it? What was R&B Divas? Oh, yeah. Now, that wasn't yeah. a good look for her. No, but still. <laughs> That's when she blocked me on Twitter because I told her what I thought. <laughs> but then we made friends again on Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like <laughs> she don't remember I'm the no, same I mean, one she blocked on Twitter. <laughs> but you know, just with that, with that being and the bigger yeah. picture of it all, Carla, there are really black women who are missing and they are not getting coverage. Yeah, and I don't like that. They That's are the not getting no, coverage. Not this not woman enough. got round the clock coverage. Yes, yeah, she did. And for, wasn't missing she wasn't even missing at the end of the day it turned out to be some family bs yep, mixed with on. covid dysfunction yeah family, family dysfunction mixed with covid mixed with covid this morning i woke up about seven to another bat signal that said kelly spoke out because i i disconnected from the matrix last night i was like i'm done like, yeah, yeah, it's like it was enough was enough. I'm done. Point. I'm done because you got Shan Ray, the sister, over here crying and carrying on. I haven't talked to my sister. I haven't seen my sister. And then you have the attorney saying she's here. You got the cousin telling Bossip she over here. And then Nikki yeah. Gilbert on Sunday took to the streets of Instagram and said, Hey guys, um, I talked to Kelly and she's a okay. I'm not gonna go into detail about what we talked about. But tune into mm -hmm. my show tonight because I'm going to talk yeah. about it. That's what it all is about. The clout. The hell are you using her to promote your show? So I'm like, tune into my show. And then, so then here we go again. So now I'm frustrated. Kelly, why are you calling everybody but your family? Mm -hmm. Why are you calling everybody but your sister? Because Shan Ray is given the perception that her and Kelly, they like, they ace boon coons. Right. 
And I'm like, why is she calling? But again, my ICC friends using their third eye. Like, nah, nah, son. She don't F with her sister like that. Yeah. That's what it got to yeah. be. Yeah. But still explain to me why she ain't talking to her. To so her kids. That's the part where that's like, I'm confused. Okay. So Nikki done talked to her. One so I wake door. up Monday morning. Okay. And Kelly Price got on a fresh wig. And she's sitting on uh, the TMZ. And she talking about how she got down bad with COVID. And how she died. And she hey, woke up. That. She woke up three days later with all the police. I mean, all the police, all the uh, physicians and, and stuff, yeah, yeah. standing around her, asking her what year it is, mm-hmm. and how her man, her husband. We now know she's married. How her husband was caring for her while she had COVID. He contracted COVID, which make it can full well, very well make sense because that's how I got COVID. I was taking care of my husband, mm-hmm. um, who had COVID, and so. Then she says she had to go into isolation or to a somewhere private because her fans had started harassing her and popping up at her house and so on and so forth. Okay. I thought she wasn't at the house. Well, I guess at one point. Oh, when she was released from the hospital, she said in so many words, she said that she was prematurely released from the hospital. Yeah, I saw that too. Confused. They mm-hmm. gave her oxygen. It was they didn't have enough kids. They gave her some oxygen and had Home health aides. It's just so much that I'm just like confused. Come to the house. Home health aides come to the house. They gave her a little tank of oxygen and some pills to swallow. And so her husband's caring for her at home because they want to free that bed up. Right. And then I guess the fans and stuff was coming by the house so much that she had to go elsewhere. Um, then she said, because you remember the sister and the family member said that the man wasn't letting nobody come to the house. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That was suspicious in itself. But Kelly was like, well, both of us had COVID. It wasn't no visits at the house. We both got COVID. I was like, okay, that makes sense. I wouldn't want nobody coming in and out of my house if we got COVID. You're not, it's, you're not supposed to. You're supposed to quarantine and Mm -hmm. see you in 14 days. Mm -hmm. See you in 14 days. Well, she has long COVID. So uh, she well, has... no, but she's not even contagious then. Oh, oh, uh, she's tested negative at this point. Yeah, she did say she tests negative. Um, she says some her organs have been impacted, a oh, lot of man. different things. Um, yeah, she's battling the long term symptoms of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and so, and I hate that for her, but at the yeah. same time, what I'm still annoyed with the situation that is not mine. Right. Okay, let me be clear. It is not my situation to be annoyed with, but I'm annoyed with the situation because that same video that came out on Monday morning could have came out Friday night. It could have came out Saturday morning. Yeah. When you had all these people praying and trying to do a group yeah. uh, uh, cyber searches for you and carrying yeah. on people coming to your house because you have gone radio silent on your family. Right. And I don't have the gall or the balls to go to Kelly's house. It ain't that much of my business. Nah. nah I'm going to nah. take it to the upper room. Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to pray, but I'm not going to roll up to your house. That's right. not my business. Nah, that's just too much. That's, that's invasive as hell. It is invasive. I'm not sure I believe that, though. Um, True. We don't know. This is all word of mouth. I'm not sure I believe that. Yeah. I don't believe somebody just was popping up at her house because of fans. Definitely be like, ooh. What's their Instagram um? <laughs> What's they handle? Big Booty Light Skin 337 was at my house on Wednesday. Like, she's talking about people leaving. But here's the thing. She was saying that people were leaving flowers and, and cards. And, but you like, people post that stuff, though, usually. She have been Most people, that. want they will post that they like, went, especially the diehard fans. Yeah. But anyway, I digress. All right, so with that being said, all I'm saying is all the stress that you put the people through and and I do understand solely understand the people who say y'all just fans she don't owe y'all nothing okay well cool when she dropped new music I don't owe her a <laughs> listen I know that's right I don't owe her a purchase right. I don't or owe her stream. a concert ticket I don't owe yeah. her a stream I don't owe her support I don't that, owe her that, nothing yeah it doesn't even make sense when you say that that's all I'm saying is when you take advantage of people who genuinely care for you yeah and support you and support you because listen that same message she posted on her instagram today mm-hmm. could have been posted yeah, friday absolutely. night 
Yeah. It could have been posted you went Saturday the whole morning. Weekend. You wanted people to go into a frenzy and to be worried. And, and I don't, that's so selfish. That selfish is all. That's it's selfish. a part of me that wonders if she liked the attention to a certain point. If you go back to RB, see, I don't okay. start judging. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, yo. I mean, it's, it's it's just a part of me because I mean, at this point, what else are we to think? Yeah. So then, yeah, seriously, um, with so many different pieces of a puzzle that aren't like sticking together, mm-hmm. they're not just not fitting. And I'm gonna tell you what else made me really, really mad. Um, and at Kelly, um, because Friday I was overwhelmed mm-hmm. because um, one of my friends said to me today, Sherelle, our girl Sherelle. Mm-hmm. She said, she wrote to me and she said, do your best to protect your peace, even though I know it's very, very hard with the type of work that you do. Nah. Y'all think that I just be writing these stories and I don't care because all I want is the clicks and all I want is you to come to my site. Y'all don't understand that sometimes I be sitting here crying at this desk. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't understand that sometimes I be sitting here with knots in my stomach, headaches, the whole nine. On Friday, before I wrote about Kelly being missing, a two-year-old little girl named Nevea Allen went missing. Uh, For real, for real missing. Yeah, that's horrible. In Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. She her her family she was missing by 4 p.m. by the time her big sister and brother or whoever got home from school. Yeah, that was hard. That's horrible. Two-year-old baby, same age as my grandbaby, who at the time mm-hmm. I hadn't laid eyes on in two weeks. Mm-hmm. Two-year-old baby, they said she had on a yellow and pink dress with pineapples. That in itself broke oh, my heart. Yeah. They said she was barefoot, the whole nine. The stepdad said he laid her down. He, they went down for a nap at one o'clock. When the siblings came home, he still sleep. The baby gone. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, that was fishy within itself. That was fishy within itself. But at the same time, my kids have a stepdad. So I don't want to automatically be like, oh, the stepdad did it. But yeah, it just don't make but, sense. It don't make sense. It didn't yeah, add up. It don't make yeah. sense. And I'm, make I'm sense. sorry to say it, but it's so many stepdads. I, I hate saying this because there's so many good mm-hmm. stepdads. But unfortunately, you had a few bad stepdads in so many cases where uh, the boy non-biological friends. fathers, that's mm-hmm. what I mean. You know, abuse or, or unfortunately kill. Mm-hmm. You know these children, so it, it's it's a shame. So I cried through that writing that story. Oh yeah, and I wrote that story, Carla, and it got maybe one percent of the traffic that Kelly Price got. Yeah, I mean, this is a two year old baby, but y'all y'all running around and myself Kelly included. Price. Myself included, concerned, praying, and worrying about a grown ass woman who playing peekaboo mm-hmm. with her family. Mm-hmm. So, I I am heartbroken to report they found Nevaeh's fa- her body in Mississippi. Yeah, that's sad. Yesterday, that so and they have sad. charged the stepfather. Mm-hmm. Um, his name is Philip Gardner. They they've charged him, and then here come Kelly with her wig. On Monday, telling me she died, woke up three days later. Somebody was like, ooh, if that is not Christ-like, I don't know what is. Girl, I just <laughs> catch myself from there. <laughs> so here yeah. she go. She's then she extra. says that she and her sister are estranged. She ain't spoke to her sister in a year. Mm. Um, so they not ace boon coons the way Shan Ray, um, the perception that she gave. But at the same time. You don't have to be tight with somebody to care about their well-being. No, and your sisters. And it is so many family members who are beefing, and they beef all the way up to the point to where something Major terrible happens. happens. Absolutely. 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 Because tragedy brings in words together. Yeah, it does. And they will beef all the way up until something tragic happens, a loss in the family, or somebody mm-hmm. goes through something catastrophic, mm-hmm. and then everybody comes together, and now y'all remember y'all family. Yeah. And now everything y'all was beefing over, you realize it was stupid, it was minuscule, and it don't mean nothing. Mm-hmm. So true. just because she don't mess with her sister don't mean her sister don't have the right to want to make sure she okay. Yeah, that, that doesn't even make sense. So then they turned it around to the sister clout chasing because the sister promoting music. And it's just a lot of different mess. But anyway, we don't know. 
So Nikki Gilbert, I was like, let me go see what she talked about on her show because she said to tune into her show. Mm-hmm. Girl, she did a whole segment towards the end of the show where she talked about Kelly <laughs> and how she basically got pulled into the situation. Let me tell y'all something. Be mindful of who you share your personal information with. And this is something that I have to learn because I consider myself an open book. Mm-hmm. But Nikki is one of those people who I ain't going to tell your business while telling all your business. <laughs> so it'd be, you know, I went and picked up Carla down to the bar, but I ain't going to tell you what she was drinking because that's her business. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I drove her to Upper Darby. You know, I'm not going to tell y'all where I dropped her off, but Carlos was there when she got there. (laughs) Like that type of person. Yeah. You don't have to tell all the details to still tell somebody's business. Exactly. That's a fact. And people. And Nikki Nikki. told that woman business. Yeah. Nikki told that she she? got involved because Kelly's daughter was asking her to get involved. So now you are reaffirming the fact that Kelly wasn't talking to her own Mm -hmm. kids. Mm -hmm. She is the one who was helping Shan Ray book interviews to speak about Kelly being missing. Oh, wow. Um, so basically Nikki was working with the daughter, working with Shan Ray, but then in Kelly's video with, the, with her wig, mm-hmm. she said that her daughter is easily manipulated. Her daughter Nia got on Facebook and was like, easily, easily manipulated. I saw that. She was like, what? Okay, yeah. now y'all pray for my family. Cause yes, my- it's, fun- it's, it's my mess. So you know what that says to me? My mama up here, straight lying in this wig. Yeah, she is lying. And they, and the, and they got some, it's clear that her, they have issues. Yes. So let me tell you, after Nikki did her show, mm-hmm. Brat and Jessica, Brat's fiance, mm-hmm. they did a beautiful thing in New Orleans yesterday. They went down and they did, um, they went to St. Parish and they did an Ida Relief where they gave thousands of family supplies, everything oh, from nice. diapers That's to awesome. food, everything. Yes. When Brad got off that plane, she found out what Nikki had said and how Nikki was promoting her show, saying she's going to talk about the Kelly, mm. talk about Kelly. So they tuned in and it pissed them off. Mm. So basically, Brad called out Nikki for clout chasing and for telling all Kelly's business. Mm-hmm. And then I guess they had like a little back and forth. And Nikki said that Jessica peddles hair products. <laughs> and Brad snapped. <laughs> <laughs> She said she peddled you. Hair That products. is no disrespect for you. <laughs> Jessica has created a whole empire. I know she has. Peddling hair products. Wow. So then they started going back and forth on social media. So all of this stems from Kelly Price mm-hmm. and her nonsense. And listen, I do R&D understand... Leaders. Season. R&B Divas. Season. What season did it stop at? I don't even it's know, the new season. I don't she even know. She brought the season back, baby. She brought the series. R&B Divas season four. <laughs> <laughs> My thing is this, and I listen, I totally get that people got the right to be left alone. I totally get people got the right to ice, you know, to go and do whatever they it is they feel they but need to heal. you missing persons, listen. My, I come in. But when you take it to the point, I'm going to tell you what I really, 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 really believe it is. And I have no facts or anything whatsoever to support this outside of my intuition and my experience of being a black woman with a black family. Mm-hmm. All this shit hit the fan with Kelly linked up with that N word. Yeah. Yeah. I believe her family don't like her man. Yeah. I believe her kids don't like her man, but guess mm-hmm. what? Y'all grown. Y'all don't. Y'all don't yeah. tell me what to do with my F life. The rest so of y'all. Yeah. F y'all. Yeah. Go on about your business. Yeah. I'm grown. I deserve happiness. I yeah. like this dude. I love he. He love me. Mm-hmm. We gonna be in here with the covids together. And she's estranged and from her family. She's actually the one that's estranged. She's estranged from her family. Yeah. Yeah. In the name of love. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I believe. That makes is. sense. That make more sense to me than anything, any of that other bullshit that they're trying to throw out. I mean, God, dog. Yeah, it's and too much. That shit is giving you, like, come it's on. It's too much. It's too wow. much. Somebody wrote me today and was like, now Kelly said, I said, listen, I don't care about Kelly Price. She for the streets. <laughs> <Word>. <laughs> I said, she, she for the streets. streets. She, she for the streets. streets. I don't yes. care. 
God. I don't care. I got to tell these people they found this baby's body in Mississippi. Yeah, exactly. I don't care about a grown yeah. woman playing peekaboo. Yeah. Or yeah. hide and seek. Yeah. I don't so care. That is some real shit going on in real life. Y'all stop playing. It is. That's what I'm tired of. It is. Y'all, Shaq said he, he... Did you see where Shaq said he quits being a celebrity? Man, please. I will. Next time I run into Shaq at Best Buy, I'm going to see if he done being a celebrity. No, but did you hear why he said it? It makes so much sense, though. What did he say? He was like, he quit being a celebrity because he was like, they out here wild. And he said he just want to be known as the nice guy. He said... Just because it's you a celebrity, because listen, look how these celebrities running around here, clout chasing trip. Yeah, they are. They are thinking that they better one way and all kind. I mean, I hate to say it, but right, like right now, it's just not looking. It's just not looking good. Clout chasing is at an all time high. I'm not saying that this is what it is, but that's what it turned into. It turned into a show because she should have put that message out Friday. It could Friday have been night. as simple as just. I mean. It ain't like she was dolled up. They threw a wig on her head. She could have put a wig on on Friday night. I don't and know. then what I else got me? I don't know if I'm buying it. What else got me was she wasn't confirming her whereabouts, but she was in the comment section on Instagram clapping back at people. That's what I'm saying. I don't Girl, know. Girl. I don't All know right. what to believe. Listen, at this point... I'm going to pray that whatever made her think that doing all this was okay gets fixed. Yeah. I need to look up what her birthday is. See if she an Aquarius. I, I'm just for <laughs> personal. Just for personal. You want me to do it or are you for doing it already? Reason. I'm doing it right now. Okay. Yeah, I just, just, just want to know for personal reasons. Mm-hmm. You know. But that is, girl, like, after even you just telling me, it's like, it's almost draining. So I know you were drained. I was drained. And then I was like, I literally, no. like, was waking up. She's like, Aries. Uh, I was literally waking up like, it's a break in the case. My husband was like, <laughs> are you really like CSI Zobby uh, right now? Because I was so concerned crazy. about her. And here she's chilling at, <laughs> she chilling at the house. She chilling at I'm the house. I'm not saying chilling because she is battling. Don't I don't want to. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. True. Make fun of that. True. Um, but still, yeah. You you know, it could have been handled a lot better. It could have. This this whole, ugh. it just screams immaturity. And, and just and... say I ain't fucking with my family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still battling it. Cold. I'm still battling COVID. Me and my yeah. man is a package deal. If they don't like my right. man, they can't have me. Exactly. Point blank. I'd have been all right with that. I'd, I'd mm-hmm. think everybody been all right with that. Like it's. But you got yo. When somebody say you missing, and you are wasting resources. Mm, we ain't even get into wasting yeah. resources. They cops doing why them cops doing welfare checks and. Okay. How many people go missing right now? Where like people have went missing while we've been on the air. Yep. Wow. I think on that note, I'm gonna wrap it up. Because you, you hit it right there. Wasting resources. Yeah. So basically, um, just to tie things up, uh, Kelly Price is in her wig recovering from COVID with her man. Uh, Nikki Gilbert is uh, being accused of clout chasing. The brat is on yeah. her ass. Yeah. Um, Brad, don't the brat play about her, her big booty. Ju- hey, listen. <laughs> listen, brat don't play about big booty Judy. Yo, she don't. Uh, she don't play. And Judy don't play about brat. No. Um, so, no. yeah. So, brat mad um, because you ain't going to. Because, yeah, I guess brat and Kelly Price are very close. And Shan Ray is just out here like, okay, well, I guess. Um, yeah, she's seen the video of her sister, so she knows she ain't dead. Right. And yeah. I, I mean, I don't know how Nia feeling right now, the daughter. And um, this just some this just some ugly, black-ass, messy, black family yeah. this mess. Dysfunctional shit. This really dysfunctional is. that has made its way to mainstream. Yeah. So I'm going to wow. give it back to him. I'm putting a condo on my wrist and I'm cashing out. <laughs> You done. You yeah, done. I'm cashing out. <laughs> Chief Kelly for the streets. I'm cashing yeah, out. Straight up. Straight mm-hmm. up. So at oh, this point, yeah. the only thing I have left for Kelly is a prayer that the Lord continues to heal her body. Yeah, absolutely. Her I mind. Speed of recovery. Yeah. And her mind. Yeah. Yeah. Because the computer much. ain't Putin. Yeah, you would think after battling something like that, and if you died three times, like you need to do some self reflect. Like, all right, sh- family y'all should, should be, be the talking utmost to about. Absolutely important. Absolutely, absolutely. So, yeah. So with that being said, child, um, just remind me in the future when I get invested in somebody else's foolishness, and we can see that the 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 lines ain't lining and the cards ain't carding up. Just mm-hmm. tell me to pull out. <laughs> 
Ooh. Tell me to treat it like oh, a condom. Oh, tell you to tell you when to fold them. Oh, yeah. Like a condom. <laughs> just to pull out. Like, yo, hey. Yo, just pull let me know when the condom broke so I can pull out. <laughs> like, man, I got to pull out. I can't even do this. I can't. I All right, can't. I got you. I got you. I got right? you. Yes. I'm so, um, ICC friends, I thank you so much for tuning in today. Yes. Um, with Carla and I, all of the stories that we discussed and more details and videos and everything else that you will need to uh, get a full assessment of the foolishness is available on icecreamcombos.com where we serve delicious scoops of entertainment and celebrity news. Um, feel free to connect with us on social media channels. As always, our new episodes of the podcast drop every Tuesday. And um, Carla, you got any closing words? Um, oh, keep y'all. Keep keep your keep your shit in the house. Keep your business in house. <laughs> in Stop the house. putting everything on social media. Mm-hmm. Seriously, mm-hmm. like I don't know how much more we have to stress that. And that goes for everything. Where you vi- where you vacationing at? Everything. Mm. Stop putting everything on social media. I had to say that because I feel like mm-hmm. we're seeing it so much. Um, shout out to Spot him, got him for recovering for his. Oh yeah. Because I feel like that was a case of. If he didn't post that he was in the studio at that time, I'm I'm not saying yeah. that's what happened, yep. but I just feel like we see so many examples of like stuff that should be kept in house instead of social. Mm-hmm. I think that, the you know, worst example of the repercussions of sharing oh, pop smoke, pop smoke, when he accidentally yeah. posted address. Yeah, that breaks my heart. That breaks mm-hmm. my heart every time I think about that because that wasn't even purposefully. No, it wasn't. Mm-hmm. It wasn't. But I think it was, I hate that he was sacrificed, but I think it's just a lesson. We all should have pulled a lesson from that. Yep. And we, when we still ain't, no, we still ain't. No, no. we still so, ain't. So that's all <sighs> I have to say. What you got? Um, I don't know. Any just, advice? I mean, listen, the, the weather's changing. Um, Paul Wall said that he don't wear deodorant, but that may not be your <laughs> ministry. Okay. We, if the cotton draw did line up, what, what's going on now? Ooh, the, the cotton draws. Oh, yeah. It's about that time where we can get out them cotton draws. <laughs> yeah, child. Right. The cotton draws. <laughs> yeah, it's about that time. Looking at my rollie, it's about that time <laughs> where we can come up out the cotton draws. Yeah. Put on something a little silky and leave the door open. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, put on something a little suck and leave the door open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you stupid. You are crazy. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay, ICC All friends, right, we love you guys y'all. very yes. much. Have a fantastic and blessed and highly favored week. And we will see you back here next week. All right? Yeah. Until next week, ICC. We all we got. Peace. We out. Ice cream conversation. Ice cream conversation.